what I have here today is a discussion on broken balance staffs. What is a broken balance staff? If I let my watch rest, will the balance staff heal? Is the ba broken balance staff contagious? If I put my watch underneath my pillow before I go to sleep, will the watch very fix my broken balance staff? These questions and more will be answered. So anyway, uh, broken balance staff, you know, basically you wind up your watch and nothing happens. Or, you wind up your watch and it only uh, runs either face up or face down, which I don't seem to have a watch like that today. Those are symptoms that could be a broken balance staff. Uh, one way to find out is uh, to open it up and uh, test the balance staff, which I'm going to show you right here on this watch, for instance. Let me see if I can... Uh, yeah, you see, uh, this watch is really screwed up. Anyway, you can see how I'm... Uh, how it moves around a lot. I'm barely touching it and it just wiggles all over the place. That could be a broken balance staff. Same thing with this one. Or you can just... Uh, and just when I move it, you can see it's... It wobbles. This one also broken balance staff. Could be. I know it is, but it could be. And this last one, though, this last one is tricky because it does wobble. Let's see if I can get it to wobble. It wobbles a little bit. This one has a, uh, a broken jewel, which could be confused as a broken balance staff. Uh, I have uh, on this card... I managed to find some balance staffs I had lying around and the one on the top is broken. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Too bad I can't hold this steady. And there's too much shadow so I'm going to have to rotate this. There, this is better. Uh, let's see, the one here, this is the broken one. Now if you notice it's the little point See, that has a, a point to it. This side, no point. That's the side that's broken off. This little tip is like a thickness of a piece of paper. And if you drop a watch, that's it. That's probably going to break off. This balance stuff here is good, and you can see it's pointy on both ends. So it's good, see. So that's the, uh, an actual good and broken balance staff. And then something else I put together. I made some drawings. So I gotta raise the camera up a little bit. Okay. Let's see if we can get it. Hmm. Still can't get it. Let's raise it up one more. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, this is not the scale. As you can see, this is a good balance staff, balance assembly. Where'd my pointer go? I lost my pointer? There it is. Let's see, get it to focus. Okay, this one's a good one. We got the uh, cap jewel up here, hold jewel here. Same thing on both ends. The balance staff is, you know, engaged in the uh, hold jewel. You can see both ends, and, you know, there's your hairspring and your balance and your roller table. And that's the way it sits. Thing is held in place radially and axially. That's a good balance staff. Uh, the next picture is a broken one. Notice these are not to scale. This is a broken balance staff. Let me move it to the middle. As you can see, this side, well I chose this end to be broken, but this one's engaged. This side, you see it's broken off. There's no little tip, so the end is free to move about. Increasing, I guess, the friction down here, so that's why it doesn't work. 
or if it does work in one position only, it's because the uh, the hairspring here is concentric with the balance, and since it's fixed on the balance cock, it kind of holds it center, so it will run a little bit in one position. But as soon as you uh, move it, that's it. It just stops because the balance just falls over too far. So that's my picture. I wonder if I can show this one. I'm going to show this one up. I can drop, drop this back down again. There you go. Now this one is the broken jewel. This one I'm going to wind it up and you can see it runs. But it only runs face down. Let me get this all the way cranking. Okay, wound it all the way up. So you see it's running good. Well, not good, but it's running face down. Now as soon as I tilt it... It still runs. Why don't I tilt it this way? It still runs. This way? Son of a bitch. Oh, there you go. It stopped. Then it started, see? That's the broken jewel. It shifts over too far that it won't run anymore. I don't know if you can see the broken jewel. I wanted to show you the broken jewel. Let me uh, see if I can grab the balance. Let's see. Nah. I don't know if you can see the pivot moving in there. But that's the broken jewel. Let's see. This one's just total crap. This one is, uh... Well, this one will run a little bit. See, anyway, I think I wasted enough of your time and mine. So that's the, uh, the story about the broken balance staffs. I re really don't want to buy a watch with one. Ah, to see this thing stop. That's what happens. So yeah, if your watch uh, doesn't run, maybe runs face up or face down only, you could have a broken balance staff or a broken jewel. But the only way to find out is to uh, open it up and examine it and then you'll see for certain. I thought this one originally had a uh, broken balance staff, but when I looked at the staff it was good. And then I looked at the jewel and I said, oh crap. It was uh, pieces missing from it. So, that's all she wrote. Hope you enjoyed this presentation. And uh, have a good day.